All right, guys, I'm gonna use my new airbrush gun. This has some gesso um, acrylic primer in it. It was my youngest daughter's recommendation because she is an artist. Uh, I have uh, three times experience with the airbrush gun, so forgive me for not being perfect, but you know what? It's all about learning and doing fun things and enjoying it, right? So this is me enjoying my hobby. <laughs> so I got this guy from Harbor Freight and we're just gonna do a primer paint on this, a coat of paint on this, and then um, hopefully it'll look good and then tomorrow I can actually do the paint, the colors that I wanna do. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to have a nice uniform coat of paint to start with, a nice base. Because when I took these out of the mold, they weren't, they're all weird colors. They're all, you know, like, like this one, for instance, it's like, cool, if that's what you're into, but some people want paint. So I'm going to paint some and leave some bare and, you know, however it comes out. If you want the natural thing, you could do the natural thing. And if you don't, then I'll paint it for you. So I'm trying to learn here. It's basically what I'm going over. I'm actually glad that I'm doing this one because I don't know if you can see that um, there's a crack and I didn't see that before I painted over it. So hairline fractures in concrete is okay. Um, it doesn't go all the way through, so it's not a big deal, but it is something to keep an eye on. And then, um, you know, it gives it more character, but it is definitely something that you want to know. So I'm glad that I, I saw that. The reason why I chose airbrush as the painting medium is because I wanted a nice uniform coat better than what I could do with a brush and uh, leaving brush strokes. And actually here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me see if I can hang this up here. Give me a second. Um, I cannot get this on there. There we go, that'll work. Um, so I hand painted, let me get a better looking piece. Here we go, this one will work. I hand painted this guy and you know, it's fine and dandy. Um, I don't know if I can make that more clear, but you can see it's not a uniform coat of paint. There we go, you can see it now. It's not a uniform coat of paint and so I wanted to avoid that in the future and the only way that I can do that is by airbrush. And so that's why I am choosing to airbrush my stuff. So um, airbrush is another skill that has to be learned. And um, I can already see in some spots I did a little bit more than others. And so it'll take a little bit more tweaking. But you know what? Since this one's cracked anyways, it's definitely a test piece. But I'm just glad that I was able to um, learn how to do this. Um, I'm very into learning my craft and I really love Hypertufa projects um, more so than concrete, but concrete is great for these types of things that I'm doing. And so I'm glad that I have the ability to do work with both mediums, um, but Hypertufa is definitely where my heart is. And so I'm gonna come out with some more Hypertufa stuff. Um, I have some stuff in the works, some things that I'm thinking about and um, we'll go from there. But I just wanted to catch you guys up with another video and let you know what I'm up to and how I'm doing and um, yeah, learning how to airbrush now. So until next time.